Hello, my Vanian peeps. Today I have some pretty sad, confusing, and pretty much unnecessary information from the Osamian side of things that I'm going to present to you today. In Owen's latest video, the Osamian News Network, the second episode or whatever, Owen does something very interesting. He copies yours and truly, El Presidente. He copies me like a carbon copy in the entire thing. This is uncalled for and unoriginal, but I don't care. I like it. Know why? Because imitation is the highest form of flattery. And I do thank you, Owen, for that beautiful flattery that you did present in that video. It really makes me proud just how I use my amazing hand gestures, the stroke of the suit, the wire rim glasses. And I do thank you, Owen so much besides the tie you're missing a tie but besides that i thank you on for the flattery that you present me in my empire it really does hit me right in the muscle right here my heart oh so sweet but i'm gonna move on to the meat of this video the meat of this carbon copy video that's full of everything from malarkey to disinformation so first off there's a very in particular point that Owen suggests, and it's apparently that I'm in my bathhouse the entire time at a battle. And throughout the entire war, I've been nothing but on vacation. All I have to say to you, Owen, and everyone out there in the world watching this video, is that is entirely false. I was on the battlefront in a highly strategic position, but Owen, you failed to see me because you were too busy mopping up the remains of your ragtagged armed forces. Sorry, buddy. I was watching through a pair of binoculars the entire time, and I was laughing, because it was funny. And by the way, can I ask what a bathhouse is? Because that sounds pretty fun. Okay, so now to the real juicy meat of this video. Owen basically supports the BEU using children for frontline service. Now, this may sound absolutely crazy, but it is indeed real and a very sad fate that has fallen upon the enemy empires against Devania. So, first off, Owen suggests that at a very tender age, the BEU government, that's what I assume it is, because he doesn't clarify, maybe it's a private entity and corruption, but it's most likely the government judging by how much power it has over the families from keeping the children at home. But he suggests right here that they shove kids into the military right here. The BEUans, as soon as they are born and they are able to walk and comprehend things, they are shoved into war and it they just pack them in there. That was pretty scary, huh? And then we can see the reaction of the young lad that was drafted to the front lines to fight this political war. And apparently he was dirty the entire time and shoved around against his will. Thousand people in there and I was getting shoved and pushed all around and I was dirty. I was real dirty. And then out of nowhere, we're, we're on the front line, boy. This is simply, and quite honestly, absolutely hor <coughs> horrendous. This is horrendous. Just, oh my gosh. The fact that he is sending and supporting children, he's not personally sending them, but he is allied with the BEU and Metal Scratch Clan, which the BEU and Metal Scratch Clan are like this, they're like bros. So the scary thing is, is that he is inadvertently supporting that move, sending children to the front lines being shot at and all that type of stuff. And trust me, here in Albania, we don't want to shoot at them. But if they're risking our way of life and the life of our citizens, we will take action against them. We don't want to, and I do suggest you stop Be you. I do suggest, because you are putting children on the line to fight your political war. It's kind of funny, because apparently this child, according to Owen, is war-hardened. And Owen, I will say to this, he's definitely hard-headed in that video. There's a difference between war-hardened and suffering from war neurosis. War neurosis basically the breaking down of your mind from the sadness and gore that is war. 
And we can see that in this video clip from his channel right here. You know what we want to do. What did you do? How? <laughs> That's pretty alarming stuff, huh? He had a complete breakdown there. And know what? Here in Avania, we do not support that whatsoever. We don't. We don't. That's why you should vote for me, by the way. Here, whenever the next election comes around, eh? Please, do vote for me and Lily Bomb. And keep this greatness alive. That is Avania. Keep this truthful network alive. That is E-N-N. And please, feel free to comment down below your opinion. Because here in Avania, we absolutely love it. Listen, I read all the opinion pieces, all the information I get. I will end up reading it for you because your voice matters. This is El Presidente signing off of ENN. Thank you.